Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandel effects of the like. Thanks for joining in. Welcome all Mandel effectings. Hey guys, so I want to talk to you about a couple of possible Mandelas we're talking about here. Uh, Thomas, or is it Thomas's English muffins? I know you're sitting here looking at the screen and it says Thomas's, but I remember Thomas English muffins. And uh, I thought I'd do a logo trace, that way you could see it. Um, so... The T is kind of like pointing to the one o'clock position right here. H. Okay. Oh. The O, by the way, has like this I shape that's pointing to the 11 o'clock right there. Very clever. So we have 111 right here in the logo, basically. Uh. Yeah, but there's the apostrophe. Just to just so there's no discrepancies now in the new reality, this thing has an apostrophe on the end. I just noticed this today. I've always called them Thomas English muffins. In fact, I tried um, for searching it, and there is a uh, couple of places where you can still find it. Thomas English muffins copycat recipe, right here. It says. The good taste of Thomas English muffins made at home. Yum. You guys see that? I mean, it looks weird, like Thomas's English muffins. It's like it's like this one here with Bridget Jones's diary. I remember Bridget Jones like that. Diary. Bridget Jones Jones diary. Not Jones's. Um Another one that I've been looking at in the past, uh, and I believe I did a video when I was at Publix a while back, uh, was Entenmann's, or was it Entenmann's? I kind of remember Entenmann's, so I mean, I could be wrong here, guys, but there's residue. Like, I didn't even have to, um, let's see, okay, right here, and I'm going to trace the logo, too, on this one, but... It's it's always been enten e n t e n m a n n s uh, apostrophe s in this reality, but here as you see, what I'm what I'm remembering is without the n in the middle. I remember entomens, and you see, here's a news site, uh, NBC News has entomens in their title. Clearly, they didn't review their product right. Um, NB, this is NBCnews.com. Maybe I should call their editor and find out. Um, but right here it says, see how the donuts are made. It, it's like it fixes itself. You see how they put the N right there? So it's really weird, guys. And then in, in the video as you're watching, it's Entenmens. So I just think it's really weird. Um, this is from the Today Show. I think that's that same video, pretty sure. why the AI wants to be ridiculous on me um, okay there it goes you see it okay that's how they make their donuts I could have sworn it was Entenmann's and there's that guy from the Today Show um, yeah look uh, this is um, Amazon.com if you want to buy a cupcake or a brownie maker Amazon.com has it listed as Entenmann's with E-N-T-E-M-A-N-N-S, -E -E right? Entenmann's. And you go here, these are all products that say Entenmann's. Why would they screw us up like this, huh? Enten, don't these people have like a spell checker that they can't, you know, get it right? I mean, everyone here says Entenmann's, right? All these guys right here. That's ridiculous. So, hello, hello, Teresa. How you doing? I just woke up the librarian. Hey, did you ask her about Entenmann's? <laughs> no, no, no. I was asking her about other stuff. Oh, okay. She remembers the T and Skechers. Oh, she I think a lot. The and Skechers. I, I was I didn't have Skechers shoes, but my my ex wife did. Uh, they they were um, they had the T. Uh, no, she was 
she remembers she remembers a monocle and a monopoly man and here's oh another gosh. one she remembered the movie and she said i remember meet the millers we we rented those out all the time and i said look it up now and they went straight to where the millers and she's like what yeah. the f no it was meet the millers she freaked out. no it was meet the millers yeah. Totally. She's like, well, I she works there. She's really good at what she does. I noticed. She's I, like, what the hell? I noticed that change when I was at Walmart. Actually, I, it was over a year ago, just before Christmas, and I noticed that. Why would they change the name? Back in uh, 2016, toward like the, like Christmas time. But I, I'm 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 no, doing a video. Actual, wait, wait, wait. Was this an actual change? Change, or was this a Mandela change? I think it was a Mandela change for me. It was it was Meet the Millers, but and I thought that was weird. I, I, I'm picking up the I'm picking up the copy of the DVD at Walmart. And I'm like, no, this was Meet the Millers. It said We're the Millers. I remember too. I know. I saw the well, movie. I, I can tell you what the movie was about. Mm -hmm. They were they were trying to um they were acting as a fake family and they were trying to get drugs across to Mexico and all this shit. You know. Holy yeah. Hey, I'm I'm doing this. Uh, whoa, hold on a minute. Thomas Food Industry. Wait a minute. No way. No, Thomas. Oh. Wait, hold on. Thomas Food Industry. I'm I'm working on something here. It's a video. I'm doing a video right now, and <clears throat> it says Entenmann's right here by Tom. We were just talking about Thomas's versus Thomas. I remember Thomas yeah. English muffins, and I remember Entenmann's. And, and I also remember yes. Bridget Jones, not Bridget Jones's. Is. That just looks weird. You're right. Uh, Wait, didn't somebody mention to us if we go on a patent website that yeah. we should be able to find things or patents? Yeah, possibly. Uh, but I'm I'm looking here. Every one of these people in these books are remembering Entenmann's. Not not yeah. with an N. The the N is left out. And I I even found some. Uh, I know it's crazy. I mean, oh, Brian, guess what I found? Guess what I found what? in my apartment? You're gonna shit. My Around the World in 80 Days. You remember? No way. I found the book. Yeah, I have it right here. I found it. I don't know how I found it, but it's been uh -huh. lost and I found it. 1956. That's, that's awesome. Copy. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to see that now. But uh, look, I'm I'm trying to show everyone here. Look, you can even go on My Fitness Pal. If, you know, if you're curious. Go look up Entenmann's. You're going to see it right there. Entenmann's. Come on. Jules Burns. This is crazy, Jules guys. Jules Burns. I'm just wondering how many of you out there remember, like I do, Entenmann's. Come on. Come on. Didn't you guys go out on Sunday to go get some nice, uh, like, family, like, Back in the old days, you know, I know. Back in the old days, when families stayed together on Sundays, they you go, you went to grandma's, right? Uh, you you uh, you would. Yes, you went to the store to buy some entomens. Yeah. And I'm tracing it right now. Oh yeah, that was the good old days. My parents, my parents, we went every Sunday to buy several boxes of different kinds. And some were like crumb cakes. Yes, the coffee. Like the oh, co God, yeah. Coffee crumb cake. I remember yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. Coffee crumb cake. Crumb cake. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad. We don't have time to go. I know. It's crazy. I'm glad you're feeling much better, Teresa. Thank you. I'm actually eating a um, cheesesteak and chips from, um, where the okay. heck did I get this from? Oh, Capriati. Sorry. Okay. Um, this is the first real food I've had in over a week. I've been eating okay. soups and more soups and mm -hmm. more soups. And this is actual real food for me. And yeah. I'm very excited. And I hope That's to cool. be on Brian's show on Friday. Right, Brian? Yeah. I missed the last Friday. I know. Be, I was like dead to the world. <laughs> I know. I know. It'd be great to have you back. By the way, there is. Oh, I will. I'll be back. I'll be back in full excitement. <laughs> very excited. That's awesome. And. <laughs> I want to point out that the T in the old one is kind of flat, and then the new, they kind of have a hook on the T now. Uh, and by the way, there is an apostrophe, you know, just in case there's any confusion. Let me spell it out. It, as, of, as of right now, in this reality, it's E-N-T-E-N-M-A-N-N -N -N apostrophe S. And, yes. I could have sworn it was Enta, Entamens. 
<laughs> this is driving me crazy. Wow. Since 1898, Entenmans. Entenmans. It's not like they, they changed families. You know, like somebody hands down the business to their, their uh, cousin or somebody and they changed the name for business purposes. This this happened since like 1898. So they've been around for almost 200 years. Right. Thanks for checking me out and uh, have a great Mandela Effect day. God bless. Hi, this is Gail. Thanks for calling Gail's Bakery and Roast Pizzeria. Gail'sBakery.com. If you know your party's four-digit extension, you may press it at any time. Wow, that's a big bakery. One moment, please. Never heard of a bakery with extensions. Thank you for calling, Gil. This is Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I have a question. It's pretty important. I um, wonder if you could help me. Huh? All right. It's bas basically, you remember that old coffee cake they used to bring to grandma's on Sundays? You remember the name of the brand, the, the, the crumb cake? Uh, you know what? The only one that I'm thinking of is the New York style crumb cake, I think is what it was. Uh, yeah, I except... I haven't had it in a while. I'm having I'm having a little trouble here because uh, I'm trying to remember if it was Entenmans or Entenmans. How, do you know how it's spelled without looking? Oh goodness, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know it just kind of rolls off your tongue, and you don't even think about the spelling or anything. I know. Uh huh. Hey, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Do you know Do you know the field of dreams if you build it? Do you remember that movie, uh, if the Field of Dreams, if you build it? They will come. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, you're with me on that. Uh, go watch the movie now. Your old VHS now says, if you build it, he will come. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, Brittany, look up the Mandela Effect. If you, don't, if you have some free time, look it up. Mandela Effect. Um, I'm, I'm actually a bit busy right now. I won't be able to do that. When you get a free chance, okay? All right. Your world will never be the same. Okay. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. You too. Bye-bye. Well, there you have it. That was a big bakery, and they have lots and lots of uh, people that work there, evidently, and I know they're busy. So I thank Brittany for taking the time to answer my really out off the wall questions here from a bakery um but yeah and it for me it was enta enta men's not enta men's it just i don't know guys hit that like and subscribe i i know even if it's not a mandela it's still important to put it out there and at least get these logos traced um as they come along and stuff like that so i really appreciate you guys God bless you all. Have a great Mandela Fate 9. God bless.